Hey friends, today I am moving out of my apartment next to Celebration Florida and relocating behind the Magic Kingdom. I thought it would be fun to make a little video showing you what it's like living next to Walt Disney World, going over the pros and the cons and talking about the different prices for rental communities and just sharing my experiences in case you ever plan on moving down here. Anywho's, let's go do this. I've never really discussed where exactly I live only because of privacy reasons, but since I'm moving out and going to another side of the town, I don't mind sharing with you guys now. I used to live where, where I currently live is Camden Town Square, which is right next to Celebration Florida here, and I am five minutes away from Walt Disney World, 2.3 miles exact, and this was a great place to live. It was very close to the parks. I was able to go in and leave and get home quickly and uh, times are changing prices are raising and it's time to relocate to another side of the town all the way on the other side of Walt Disney World I have been living at my apartment for just about three years now and my most recent renewal offer I saw a huge jump in the rent I mean they raised the rent a lot so I started looking around and I noticed that the rent is basically being raised all over at all the different communities it's not just my apartment complex and I kind of wanted a bigger like space I wanted to have a bigger living area for me and Gracie so I decided that uh, I'm gonna actually move out and uh, find better living accommodations and we'll go over the prices and stuff like that a little bit later on but I kind of just wanted to give you some context on why I'm moving another reason I decided I wanted to move is because I'm paying a lot for the apartment that I have right now and it's not in the greatest of spots oh look you can see Gracie up on the balcony there I'm located right here and across my way from my balcony is a abandoned hotel or motel and they are currently fixing it up now but it's been abandoned for a very long time and it's very noisy I mean they have a lot of construction and this is gonna be going on for like another year but I'll show you guys what it's like over here when I peek through the fence oh can, you can hear like the trees and things going look at that so this is what I kind of am dealing with at the moment my dream is to buy a home and live here in Florida, but I didn't have enough time. And a lot of people told me it's not a good time to even buy a house right now. I was looking at some townhouses and they were like 300,000 to a half a million. So I'm gonna have to rent for another year and then hopefully I can be a homeowner in the most magical place on earth because that's, that's the life goal right there. Now I'm going to take you guys up to my apartment, show you the moving progress, talk about the layout, and also discuss how much I pay monthly, like what my monthly rent has been for the past three years. Now, fair warning, my apartment's probably a big mess because I am in the middle of moving, so I just have stuff piled everywhere, but uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little emotional. I did love living here. Every place has its pros and its cons, and I've made some amazing memories. Me and Gracie have called this place home for three years, so it was kind of heartbreaking, like taking my pictures off the walls and stuff like that. I'll try to show you guys a before picture of what my apartment looked like when I had like everything hanging up and comparing it to what it is now but uh yeah it's it's kind of sad moving isn't easy for anybody good evening friends i'd give anything to be there with you and here is my apartment. It was a one bedroom, one bathroom, 650 square foot apartment. Very tiny apartment. It's actually the smallest apartment I've ever had. And uh, it's all undecorated. I used to have pictures everywhere. Here's the kitchen area. I still have to get my contemporary down. My little kitchen area, got this all cleared out. Uh, probably by the time this video posted, uh, I'm gonna be completely out of here but I had a lot of fun. I mean, this is a small like apartment, but the way that they have the bedrooms laid out, it looks a lot bigger. Gracie's in here. This is my bedroom right here. Had a nice little walk-in closet, lots of Dalmatian stuff. I still have to pack in here, but there's my closet. Lots of Roosevelt shirts, lots of fedoras. I still have to get all of this too. And then I have the bathroom right over there. Oh, where is Gracie go? There she is! What are you doing over there, silly butt? Woohoo! 
when I first moved into this apartment, I was paying $1,200 a month, which was the most expensive apartment that I've ever had at that time as well. And now, three years later, uh, the most recent uh, quote that they gave me to renew my lease, it was $1,888. And that is a lot of money. $1,888, almost $1,900 for this apartment. And uh, that's including your like technology package and almost every apartment complex has valet trash where you don't uh, take your trash you put it outside your door and someone comes and picks it up but you have to have it and it's like $40, $50 for that I'd rather just take my trash down to the trash bin for $40, $50 but uh, yeah it, I mean that's pretty expensive for a 600 square foot apartment I mean what do you guys think? I'm going to be honest when I tell you this isn't an unreasonable price though. I checked the market and a lot of apartments are like this. When you click on an apartment website, it's going to give you the base rent. And once you click on that, you would think the apartment, like you know what I mean? I looked at another one that was down the road from here and the base rent was like $1,650. But then when you like click on it to get more information, that's when they add on the, the, the technology package, the pest control, the parking, the valet, and next thing you know uh, one bedroom is going to be eighteen hundred dollars but i feel like i should probably get a better view like i want to have a different living space you know what i mean this is nice i mean gracie loved hanging out here but uh yeah i kind of just want to switch it up a little bit and also don't forget i live five minutes away from walt disney world a five minute drive to walt disney world two miles two miles away from walt disney world that is kind of cool to be able to say but uh it'll cost you eighteen hundred dollars or nineteen hundred dollars and uh i also want a bigger apartment and that's what i ended up getting i ended up getting a much bigger apartment and uh, i'm paying more money obviously but uh i'm gonna be happier there because i'm gonna have a nice view more space uh a different area i'm gonna be kind of near the parks too but i don't think i'm gonna be as close i don't think i'm gonna be as close to the parks but i'll find out once we actually get all moved over there to make the packing a little bit easier i just put everything in tubs and uh, i hired some movers to help me move it because i don't have a truck and uh, it should be a pretty easy move but it's funny when you're moving you find a bunch of stuff that you don't normally like pay attention to but take a look at my graveyard of cameras here these are all my cameras that uh i've had and broken over the years of vlogging it's like the canon g7x mark ii graveyard right here isn't that so funny? Also, look at this MGM Studios hat. Very fancy. I'm pretty sure this hat is from opening day at MGM Studios. It says 1987 on the tag, but the park opened in 1989. So I kind of questioned it. I got it uh, a couple of weeks ago and I forgot that I had it. And I was like, oh yeah. And I got really excited. So I wanted to try it on and show you guys. And like I mentioned before, my apartment is like a very tiny apartment 600 square feet in an apartment is not that much room uh, i feel like i can take five steps and touch a wall wherever point i'm in like either the bedroom to the living room to the kitchen to the uh bathroom it's all like very confined and the apartment that i'm moving to i think the bedroom alone is the size of my whole apartment it's a big upgrade it's a little bit more money but like i said it's worth it to me because I'd rather pay a lot of money for a lot of space than a lot of money for not much space. And that's kind of in the predicament that we are. But I do love it here a lot and I'm going to miss it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a little sad. Taking down all of my pictures, I have some artwork from Pinocchio a original Hershey Park opening day map, some Epcot Center news briefs, a lot of fun stuff that uh, I'm gonna have to find new uh, space at my other apartment, my big Epcot picture here. I mean, I'm not a fan of blank wall space. You know what I mean? I like to have everything covered for, that's how I've always been. I like to have like just everything, like I, I like looking at things, you know? Now I'm going to take Gracie out for a little walk and show you around the complex and the surrounding area a little bit. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you think uh, the price for this apartment is worth it? You know what I mean? Being so close to Disney, uh, five minutes away, but paying, like I said, $1,800 a month. $1,800 a month, 600 square feet. You know, I always try to do the math and uh, basically 
see how much I'm paying for per square foot. You know what I mean? So you take the pro you take the uh, the rent and then you divide it by the uh, square feet of the apartment. It'll tell you how much you're paying per square foot. And I don't think it's worth it. You know? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And uh, we're gonna take Gracie over to the new spot and see what she thinks. Gracie isn't liking the move so much. I think she likes it here, so it kind of makes me sad, but I am going to take her over to the new place and see if uh, she likes it better over there. What do you think, Gracie girl, huh? One last pee? Ah, oh, there you go. Your old stomping grounds. Now I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the area I currently live at and then I'm going to drive over to my new apartment and show you guys around there but I'm not going to disclose exactly where I live I'm just going to show you a little bit of the apartment only for privacy reasons but I wanted to share with you guys um, basically my stomping grounds around my old apartment complex. The Celebration Water Tower is right here along with the Celebration Publix. That's where I did all my grocery shopping. And uh, my apartment's right here. Right there it actually is. And there's the Waffle House that I went to after the hurricane. It was literally, I walked out my door and it's right here. So I was walking distance to the Waffle House. Boston Lobster Feast. That's not the one that I dined at though. I dined at the one up the road. I also had an IHOP right next to my house. A Golden Corral. A Starbucks. This area is very, very busy. And then uh, Old Town is right down there underneath the bridge. So I'm kind of right on the Outer Banks of Celebration. As you can see the white picket fence there so it's very close to everything and uh, lots of uh, like amenities that you can actually use if you lived here so I basically lived right off of 192 in Kissimmee Celebration and depending on where your building was located uh, that's what would determine what your zip code was I shared the same zip code as Celebration so I uh, my zip code was 34747 which is Celebration Florida or if your building was in a different area it would be Kissimmee which I think would be 34741 and it is a very busy area very loud lots of touristy things like I said you have old town right there uh, lots of restaurants and it's uh, very like traffic wise kind of like congested you know it's a very busy intersection here once you get deeper into celebration the town itself it's very quiet very peaceful but when you come out here this is where all the hustle and bustle is now don't get me wrong it was cool that I could walk to Waffle House anytime I wanted some breakfast or if I wanted to buy some gifts for less this is all literally one minute from my apartment. Like not even one minute. I would say it's, yeah, I would say probably just one minute. This is the hotel that is uh, my view from my balcony. The good old Claremont and uh, Internet Cafe. As you can see, it they're uh, currently redoing it. Then we've got uh, some $1.99 gifts right here. Could definitely get some of that and uh, a 24-hour IHOP along with the uh, world-famous Boston Lobster Feast. Look at that. Here are two really fun facts. The hotel that I keep talking about that I have a view from my balcony is called the Claremont Hotel. And Adam the Woo used to actually work there. And he did a video there showing it off at its worst state when it was completely abandoned and uh, nobody was trying to fix it up. He did that video just a couple of months ago and I'll put a link so you guys can check that out. And the reason that that hotel went abandoned and why it is here is because my apartment complex used to be a water park like an actual water park called water mania and another friend of mine expedition theme park did a video about the water mania park that used to be here and I shot some footage for him so I'll put both of those videos uh, the links for their videos in the description you should check it out if you're interested in 192 and uh, where my dog park is where Gracie goes and plays I think was actually the wave pool at one point this is the dog park over here Grace is going to show you and everything's kind of on a hill because like I said I'm pretty sure this is where the water park was and there's like a little river or ravine back there. Look at this isn't it funny and then you can still see the hotel right here in the, the woods itself but this is a very big dog park this is one of the main reasons I wanted to move here look at this 
Gracie had lots of room to run and play and she loved it. Even though I did just take her to random fields all the time because she liked that more. But uh, nice big dog park and then a small one. And uh, yeah, what do you think Gracie? You gonna miss this one? Not so much, but. Now it's time to make our way over to the new apartment. You excited Gracie? You wanna get a pup cup? Yeah, stop and get a pup cup on the way. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can we get started for you today? Can I get a nitro cold brew with a splash of sweet cream? Absolutely. And then... What are you thinking about? Uh, a grande. All right. And then can I get a pup cup too? You got it. All right, thank you. Thank you. I got my coffee, Gracie. This one yours? Take it in the back. No, no, take it. Thank you. <laughs> Earlier, I mentioned how I was moving behind Magic Kingdom, and that is because I have to drive through Magic Kingdom to get to my new uh, apartment, to my new home. Right there is the Magic Kingdom uh, entrance. Look at that. And we're actually gonna go alongside Space Mountain, which is kind of cool. I'll show you that once we get up here. Look at how cool this is. I love it. I now we have made it to our new home and we're gonna see what Gracie thinks. Get her first look. Ready to head on in, Gracie? Here we go, come on. Oh, look at you. <laughs> what, you like it? Huh? Go ahead. Go explore, come on. Go ahead, up these steps. These ones, yep. Look at you. I think she likes it a lot. And it's a huge improvement from where I was staying. Of course, it's a lot more money, but much more space for Gracie to walk around. Look at her. She's like, take me on a tour. We got a bedroom over here. Nice little closet. There you go. I'm almost all moved in on my bathroom. I got most of my stuff here. If you guys didn't know, I actually have an office themed bathroom. It's always been like, the office for me. So I decided to put a lot of my office memorabilia in here. So once I get it all hung up, I'll show you guys what it's like. But if you are a big office fan, you'll notice a lot of this stuff already. I love it. It's so fun. Come on, Gracie, let's go. Yes, there you go. Down these ones. Come on, down this side. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's go. You can do it. <laughs> Good girl. It was a little bit echoey in there because uh, we're in an empty apartment, but I wanna show you guys a lot more once I get fully moved in and I get everything situated. And uh, my apartment now is double the size of my previous one, double. And I'm paying $250 more a month rent. But if you divide that by the square footage, uh, the square feet, then I'm actually uh, saving a lot of money because I'm getting more value for space. You know what I mean? And uh, I love it and it's a beautiful area but I did look at some of the other surrounding areas and I noticed like the apartments like Windermere and uh, well Hamlin and like uh, Winter Garden and stuff like that uh, those apartments could be anywhere from like 19 to 23 hundred dollars for a one bedroom and then two bedrooms were like 25 to three thousand dollars Windermere is very expensive Winter Garden's a little bit more affordable Hamlin is very very nice and uh, yeah it, it's, it's very nice over here. It's definitely quieter, not so uh, traffic heavy, and not too many touristy things around here. Even though we're closer to the Magic Kingdom, we're farther away from Walt Disney World, like in a hole, you know what I mean? You might be close to Magic Kingdom, but everything else is actually quite far away. Now that we got some moving taken care of, it is officially dark outside. So I figured I'd come out and scope out the new local Publix and also try to find myself a pizza joint. Like I said, I'm not showing much of my new apartment just for privacy reasons, but 
I do love it. It's in a nice area and uh, I kind of want to find a new pizza spot. I mean, where I was living before, there wasn't any good pizza spots around. Nothing like from, you know, like back home, like Pennsylvania or New Jersey pizza. That pizza is the best. So it's hard to find good pizza here in Florida. But uh, this place, Stromboli's, looks pretty interesting and it's uh, near where I uh, recently moved to. So I figured we'd uh, give it a go. Got to have a good pizza spot at your new place, you know? It definitely looks like a pizza spot I would enjoy. Stromboli's New York Pizzeria. Ooh, and they have daily specials, daily pasta specials. Makes it even better. Big ziti, stuffed shells, manicotti, meat and cheese ravioli. This is good stuff, maybe. I think we might be on to something. All right, just placed my order for some pizza and some meatballs. Always gotta try meatballs whenever I go to a new Italian restaurant. It gives me a good, uh, uh, good judge of how good the food is actually gonna be. And now we're gonna grab uh, maybe some tea or something to drink from good old Publix. A new Publix. I don't know why I always get so excited whenever I come to a new Publix that I've never been in. I always want to check out the deli and the bakery, even though they're almost always the same. But sometimes they have different things, especially in like the prepared foods aisle. I always like to see what kind of soup they got too. Oh yeah, look, they got a soup bar over there. Always good soup at Publix. And of course the chicken tenders. Chicken tenders are always the best and pub subs. Let's see, we've got some old fashioned lemonade some mango lemonade, some blackberry lemonade. Then we've got some watermelon rose flavored lemonade. That sounds actually really fancy. Some iced tea, some green tea, some peach tea. There's a lot of different options here, but I'm kind of interested in this watermelon rose one. Watermelon rose flavored lemonade. What do you think, should we get it? I think we're going for it. I think that'd be a little fancy. All right, we got the pizza, we got the watermelon rose lemonade. Now it's time to head back and uh, do some more packing. Now let's take a look at this pizza. Stromboli's, simple is best. Pizza, pizza. Ooh, look at this, looks like a good pie. Not too shabby. I'm excited to dive into it. It's a little New York thin, New York thin slice. Pizza is definitely like the perfect moving like dinner because uh, you don't need much and I just realized I don't have any of my cups or plates here. I already moved everything over there and I don't even think I have silverware. So uh, I guess uh, we'll just be eating meatballs with our hands. You ever watch that one movie with the meatballs? It was the wedding singer where, <laughs> where she keeps on giving them meatballs like to pay them for the singing lessons. The grandma does that. That's gonna be me with like the meatball. I love that movie, such a good movie. And speaking of meatballs, they give you some garlic knots it looks like. Oh yeah, look at those precious beauties in there. Some garlic knots. And uh, I just ordered for like one or two meatballs. I just wanted to try them, so. Oh yeah, two meatballs. Two meatballs and some garlic knots. Very fancy. I wonder what the sauce is like. It looks good. I did find a single spoon, so I think we're gonna be able to make this work. Oh, well, never mind. My spoon kind of turned into a fork here already. But uh, let's try this meatball here. One meatball. That's a good meatball. I like it. I feel like uh, that means it's gonna be good pizza. Gotta try some of the sauce with some of the garlic knots. This is the way. The garlic knots are amazing. Holy moly. They only give you three of those. I could eat like a dozen. A dozen knots, please. That is really good. Enough of the meatball business. Let's dive on into some pizza. I got half pepperoni, half, uh, half plain. So I think we'll start with some pepperoni. This is looking like a solid slice right here. Holy moly, look at that undercarriage. Looks really, really good. I, I'm excited for this. Oh yeah. I truly believe I got myself a new pizza spot. Look at that. Such a good, good pie right here. I am impressed and it's probably gonna be my go-to spot now. So thanks a lot, Stromboli or Stromboli's. You did it. I forgot about the watermelon rose lemonade. All I have is my Haunted Mansion coffee mug, so that's what we're gonna drink out of. I, did, I could just drink it out of a gallon, though, but 
I mean, might as well be fancy, you know? Oh, that is really delicious. That is so good. Wow. It's not overly sweet. And you can actually taste the watermelon and then the rose. And that is really, I like this a lot. This is actually good. It's limited edition though, so it's not going to be out long. I might have to stock up. Enough of the pizza business. Now we are all packed up. I don't have anything left. It's all in this main room over here. I do have all of my like pictures and artwork that I have to keep separate over here. I put it all in the closet. Got rid of all of the shirts already. And this stuff I'm gonna actually bring over myself in my own car. A lot of it's very valuable and kind of things I hold uh, near and dear to my heart along with Gracie's stuff. Yes, I know, baby. Gracie is so wondering, like, what is going on here? What is going on here? Why is my Haunted Mansion Doom Buggy bed like this? And why are you sitting in that one here? I'm sorry. Let me move this all out of the way for you. Go ahead. Here you go. All yours. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. In the Doom Buggy. I thought she was going to do it. I thought you were going to do it. Why are you punking me? Oh, you want one of these? What do you want? <laughs> what do you want, this? <laughs> A little basket of toys. What's my brush doing in here? You're combing yourself? <laughs> what? You're gonna make a big mess now? Huh? Yeah, you are. I thought you were gonna lay in that doom buggy, but you punked me, did ya? I seen ya. And with that, I think we are done here tonight. One last night in the apartment, and then tomorrow we'll be fully moved in. The mover's gonna come, help me get all this stuff uh, loaded up, and should be pretty easy. Now, I did ask about the movers, and to give you guys an idea, it was $150 per hour. $150 per hour, I get a two-man crew, I get the truck, and... Uh, I think this will take like an hour or two, honestly. I mean, I can ask some friends for help, but I don't know anyone that has like a truck or anything like that. So the, by, the, by the time I go out and rent a U-Haul and everything like that, and also carrying up the gigantic couch and the bed, I have one of those adjustable bed frames, it gets kind of heavy. So a lot of people, a lot of hands on deck, things, uh, I think it'll make it worth it, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a little bit different than what I normally make. And uh, regular videos will be back to normal as soon as uh, I get all settled in. And my birthday's around the corner and Christmas and a lot of great things to come. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.